Well, we're here to uh, to remember Mandela. We're going to watch The Long Walk to Freedom, which is the film uh, which is based on his autobiography. Uh, uh, we're going to do that together with about a couple of hundred young people who are here in support of Cathod. And then afterwards, with the director, we're lucky enough that we're going to be able to explore Mandela's life, his inspirational legacy, uh, how that's relevant in the world today, what that means for Cathod's work. An event like this is always really important because in the daily work of an aid and development agency, the fight against Ebola, uh, the response in Syria and Iraq, in dark places all over the world, um, it's important sometimes to take a step back and remember where your inspiration comes from. Obviously Mandela is a really inspirational figure and watching the film just reminded me about the injustices that are in the world today and thinking about what I could do to make a difference. Um, and obviously the work that Cathod does um, touches on a lot of these things and it's a great way that I could um, channel the skills that I have to help others. Yeah, absolutely inspirational and I think, you know, just that humility that he had and that just above everything that sense of justice and what was right and it was really telling to see in the film how much personally he kind of suffered from his struggle. What better inspiration is there in the world than Nelson Mandela? Uh, those of us who are here are lucky that we got to share a little bit of time on this planet with Mandela. A lot of our partners have worked with him, a lot of our partners knew him well. Uh, and for us to be able to, to learn from his example and to use that in our work is an incredibly powerful thing. I was very fortunate that I was able to spend three years, you know, talking to people who knew Mandela intimately, family members, men and women on both sides of the struggle, and just the way he lived his life, the fact that he never gave up, and whatever they did to him, whatever they did to his family, and uh, the fact that he kept his views, whatever happened, he kept what he believed in. Well, there's nothing more important for me than youth, young people standing up and and claiming their voice and trying to shape the world that they're going to grow into and live in. But he really just had this such a clear vision of what he wanted to achieve for his people and a sense of something that was greater than him as a man. And I think that is just an amazing inspiration. The, the one thing that kind of came from that that's so relevant is to be true. To be true to your inner voice and to be true to your people and your country. Whether it's tackling poverty, injustice, climate change, you have to be true. And that, that, that means everything and that is inspiring and that inspires you and me and hopefully every generation to come.